high silver, low gold. You know, everyone can lane pretty well, but it just seems like, you know, I'll make one mistake in lane, and then it just kind of snowballs, where, and then I don't know what to do. Whereas if I do win lane, then I know what to do. Like, I, I kind of know how to play the game from there. Um, so I guess playing a losing lane, even as... And I and I know that's the, the downfall of Draven, but just overall decision-making, I guess, would be something I need to work on. Okay, okay. So a lot about, like, uh, macro and then, like, map movements and, you know, where should you be, uh, you know, if you're losing, I guess, because, you know, you say you know what to do when you're winning. So... Um, you see, you would say your landing is like pretty fine. Yeah, I would say my landing is decent, uh, especially since I I know matchups, I know like the champion abilities, I know, you know how to predict, um, relatively well. I mean, obviously I'm not great. I'm obviously I'm still silver, so it's not, you know, it's not amazing. Um, I mean, but so far so good. Like you hit them for free a bunch of times. You got level two. You got to push on them. Yes, Seems good to me. Um, now in this lane, can you tell me, you know, if something goes wrong, uh, what, what, what goes wrong in this lane? Um, I mean, it, it's, I, I realized right away that Leona was autofilled when she was like standing behind me on certain things. Um, other things that go wrong is I, I get cheesed by the blitz a couple of times later in the game. Um, and that really, well, like get hooked or something. Yeah, I, I get hooked. I mean, it, it comes up later. Um, Interesting, interesting. Okay, so I think this is good. You're pushing them in. Um, the only thing that I'm looking at here is okay. uh, when this Ramis comes, because you know this Ramis is probably going to come for yeah, you. Yeah, and you know what I saw on Champion Select? I'm like, oh, Ramis is, is coming bot. This is, um, is going to happen. But you guys can actually win against Ramis, right? So can you tell me how, like, you know, what's the best case scenario? So say Ramis is ganking you right now, right? Say he comes comes through lane. How And you guys, you guys know that there's no way you guys lose. How do you know that? How, you how should you should know there's no way you guys lose. Like right now, Ramis ganks you. You can't lose. Why? Leona, Leona CC. Right, right, right. Okay, tight. now you lose. Now you lose, right? Because um, if they go, if Ramis came out and guns on you. Okay, so um, basically, when you have kind of engaged lanes, right? So you say you have Leona, you have a Blitzcrank, you have Alistar. Um, the lane that engages and doesn't succeed is the one that loses, right? So say um, Remus comes out and Blitz makes a beeline towards you and then, you know, Blitz, you know, Remus taunts you and Blitz hooks you and fists you and then all that shit. Um, and while you're CC'd, Leona goes to Tristana. Uh, you're CC'd, Tristana's CC'd, and then uh, both of you are no longer CC'd, so then you just walk away, right? So that's how you know that you can't die because you have enough HP to survive Blitz and Remus, right? While Leona is ho supposedly um, keeping Tristana locked down. So, right. uh, but whenever Leona goes in like that, um, and you have no idea where Remus is, you should not help because you know, that, that shit's coming out right like immediately. Okay. So Remus is like killing Zen. I don't know what's going on over there. Yeah. But, Zen tried uh, to do dragon with no vision. I didn't think it was a good idea, but I don't know. I thought maybe it could work. Uh, so honestly, you play this fine, right? Not trying to give up the jig. So, uh, you're just like trying to. Yeah, you know, exactly. Fart. I don't want to run then, over there. Then all yeah. of a sudden it's becoming a fiasco. And, you get and then solo I. Killed. There's not much yeah. you can do. Um, you can win this, though. 100%, right? Oh, this is awkward. Okay, so you missed your E. There's no way you should yeah. win. Oh, yeah. You shouldn't, you shouldn't chase if you miss abilities, right? Okay. Because, okay. Um, okay, so in a fair fight, in 2v2, right? Um, how do you know which side wins? Um, I mean, in the 2v2, just landing abilities, uh, CCing the damage dealer, so in this case, like, Tristana. Right, right, um, right, exactly, right? So, um, those are, like, some of the biggest, like, ways to win fair fights, right, 2v2s. Um, miss landing abilities. So, if you ever miss something like this, you sh that's, like, a clear indication that you gotta stop, right? Okay. Um, or, like, dropping an axe, right? That's a clear indication yeah, that you gotta yeah, stop, definitely. right? Um, especially like uh, if you miss like Leona ult, right? That's like that's like an obvious one, right? Um, so like that's how you know you guys are like if he has hook still, you're probably probably screwed, right? So right. you got to heal though. Okay, this is free. He doesn't have ignite. Somehow he doesn't have ignite, right? But this could have been really bad, right? Right, um, right. Especially since I I should have backed off as soon as I missed that E and then just gone on to blitz. 
yeah, just yeah, kind of yeah. focus from there. It, like one okay. way you can make sure your E has like insane value is just like hold on to it longer until there's no way you can miss, right? I, the longer suppose... you hold on to an ability, the better chance, the better value it will have, right? Okay, that until, makes sense. Until like you die, right? So um, it's like I... your trump card, right? Think yeah, of it as your it trump is. card. Especially since Triss, because I can just knock her out of her jump. Yeah, which is, exactly. Which is, what right? I cut, which is what I try to predict, but obviously I just, just completely bamboozled. The thing is, um, when you're like doing this fight and you think she's going to jump away, I mean, that's fine, right? Because you just kill the guy. You just kill Blitz. So um, there's, there's no need to... Fighting is like a good decision here, but don't try and like... If you get a oh, kill, exactly. that's, like, yeah. that's, like, um, that's like a gift, right? There's no right. way you should be able to kill these guys for free, especially when you have no Zen, right? Um, so this fight should be done immediately. Okay, you got to back here, right? How do I know you have to back here? Yeah, because they were just mid. They were just yeah, in the... Yeah, yeah. Hey, yeah, they're coming for your ass, right? So good, good, good. Good, good, good. So um, don't try and get these minions, I guess, but that's fine. I was just, fine. I was just being greedy, I guess. <laughs> yeah, you, you recognized, you recognized uh, at least like immediately after you killed a minion, so that was good. Um, back timing, back timings are like very important in bot lane, right? Because uh, if you like back too late or you don't back after you win a fight, you can actually like throw the lane in that way as well, right? You your opponent can do the same, right? If they have, your opponent has bad back timings, um, you can like take over the lane, take over a lost lane. Okay, so you guys can just you have enough damage, you can just kill this blitz probably. Um, okay, so when you see this, you know you can win, right? Okay. If, if Ramis isn't here, they, if, oh. like, if Ramis shows up on the map, you know, yeah. you just like run at them, right? Because Tristana missed an ability, right? Her E. That's like her main damage. So okay. you spam ping for Leona, maybe. It's fine if she doesn't go, right? Um, sometimes you, you can't make them do what you want, but you can try and like tell them what you want to do. Uh, so. I, I suppose I was just trying to rush to level six, so. And then. Okay, this is good. This is a good bait, right? Because you, you have Cassidy in, so you can't lose, right? So. This is interesting. Nice try on the Tristana, I guess, but um, I, I guess I was just trying to secure that kill because I, I know with with Draven, it's like the win condition is is getting kills, you know, trying to cash in as much gold as I can, um, you know, to get to get the items that I need to be able to kite later in team fights and stuff like that. That was well played. That was well played, right? As long as you didn't mess up the gank, then it's it's like fine how you played it. Let's see, du, 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 du. pushing in. Where is this Ramis? Could be bot for sure. Okay, yeah, he's okay, bot. Yeah. <laughs> Cause okay, so yeah, um, you always need to know. Okay, so you win this, right? Right. Uh, we don't win that fight. I how do I win this? Because if I get exhausted like that, and then I yeah. get taunted and. Cause it, I mean, it might have been different. If Leona would have gone in right away. You won, right? You won. So in a gank, in a 2v3 situation, getting away is called a win, right? Because okay. you wasted the jungler's time, right? So say right. you're playing solo queue, okay? And then um, you're like winning bots super hard. You, yeah, you're playing Draven, you're winning bots super hard. And the enemy ganks you. And you, use, you lose your flash, right? And the enemy goes back to his jungle. Okay, what happened during that time? Your jungler ganked top and dove and got a kill on tower, right? So like absorbing jungle pressure like this is very good, right? In solo queue especially, right? Because it means that no, not only have you won bot, you also won jungle, right? Just by this simple act of getting ganked and then like getting away from the gank. You can also turn this if you guys are like find something. Okay, so this is good, right? You won this. This is this is called okay. this is considered a win, right? Okay. Um, in solo queue, a common misconception of many players is, hey, I don't want to get ganked, but that's not right, right? Because if your if your lane is not getting ganked, your teammate's lane is getting ganked, and you have no control over how they play that, right? So. Um, in solo queue, you want to win lane and you also want to get ganked and win the gank, right? So then you start winning everything. Once you start, once you win the gank, you won jungle and then you win bot, take tower, go mid, you win mid. And then after that point, you've won every lane without your team having to do anything, right? So right. that's the, that's the goal of solo queue is to relieve as much pressure for your team as possible, right? So, um, these guys probably backed. If they didn't back, they're camping a bush. I forgot how much health they would did, but they probably can't keep a bush. So you probably just push all this and back, right? Um, that's the thinking here, right? Okay, so uh, this is one of those uh, how back timings can throw, right? So what happens if Ramis comes back? I am screwed because I'm out of mana. Yes, exactly. You're screwed because you're out flash. of mana. Yeah, no flash is like very important usually, but you're pretty strong. The most important thing is no mana because you can't. There's no way to fight back, right? You you almost can't even run away because you have no E. So that's this is why back timings is important, right? Because if you came right now and you're like still here, 
you kind of uh, you're gonna die, right? I, I think I like, wanted to, but with the with Leona getting hooked, it was kind of just like, okay, well, let me try to help him out. Oh, he'll he'll be fine. There's no way. There's no way they're gonna try and kill this guy in minions. But yeah, yeah, it's good that you it's good that uh, you recognize you want to back. Okay, good, 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 good. Oh, actually, okay, yeah, they didn't stop you. <laughs> For a sec, I thought they stopped you. That would have been awkward. This guy's name is Jiggle My Puff. Hold up. <laughs> yeah, it is. Literally just like. Yeah, it is. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, I love these names. All right. Uh, is this NA, by the way? Yeah, it's NA. Okay, okay, okay. So yeah. Um, now. Okay, so you see, you see, Casting coming down. Uh, you know, this could be a little bit risky if Ramis is here, oh, right? Oh yeah. Oh, this is awkward. Yeah. Uh, so I uh, guess this is just like a mechanics thing. I wouldn't worry about yeah. this too much, honestly. Um, this is like a good E. Just like uh, no, nah, it's, it's I was just trying to hit both of them at the yeah, same yeah. time, but I just I just got greedy on target choice. Don't worry about don't worry about stuff like that. At least not yet. If you throw games because of mechanical errors, that's when you gotta like start worrying about it. That, that was just like fine. Oh wow, he's going for a flash hook. Okay, so you you can kill this guy. Oh, this is awkward. You didn't auto cancel. Oh, and Leona's not here. Yeah, Leona didn't come back. Rip. <laughs> you can, I guess, if you know you can't win, you should walk away. Right? I, but, I guess um, I just figured I was screwed no matter what. Wait. What happened to your first? Your first auto attack was not an axe. Oh. But, uh, honestly, honestly it, it, the mechanics, like, doesn't, I'm like, sure, you can maybe kill this guy, but uh, what you should recognize is that uh, you can just, like, walk away here, right? Because if they have no CC and he is not jumping you, right? So say this guy hooks, right? He fists you. He makes the mistake of not jumping on you right now. So you walk away. And then the instant he makes, like, the instant he does an animation, you throw his E. That cancels his jump, right? And then since Blitz already used his oh, hook, how do they stop okay. you, right? So you just walk away. So if you're ever, like, whenever you are in an unfair fight, right? And what we mean by unfair is, you know, 4v5 or... 3v 3v2 or 1v2 like in this case just like walk away from these right okay um you don't have to you don't have to take these you shouldn't if you have a choice do not take these and then if okay. it's the other way around if it's 2v1 like you saw casting was coming down you know you should fight right because it's 3v2 you take those fights right um so that's and that's that's a big part of like knowing what to do like if you're this this doesn't matter if you're winning if you're 5-0 or 0 5 this is the same thing right maybe okay. if you're strong enough to 1v2 you take this right but that's just like muscling them out right um yeah but yeah, yeah, yeah. usually you you take because like what happens what would have happened if you walked away here since leona is helping your team that's that's a what is that that's like a 3v2 over there so they win right right well whatever this is i don't know what this is but your team won your team won because leona went to help right so leona got a kill here otherwise lux would have gone away they, they even killed ramus right they killed two people so if you just walked away, all you had to do is just uh, not die, right? Just run up. Yeah, because my W was down, but I definitely could have just ran towards the tower and eat them and, um, yeah, I got in the way. I, I, and for, I think for a second I thought I could kill him, but then I quickly realized I dropped both of my axes. Oh, uh, um, yes. Yeah, because it was like that last second that... Oh, I see. I see. It was like the axes are running out, and then he <laughs> sees you, and they're gone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was just... It was just Unfortunate, I guess, but um, that makes sense. I definitely could have ran away. Say, so going back here. So now you have to be wary of Ramis ganks. Okay, so now we're getting to the point where, um, like we said earlier, Ramis ganks you. Leona CCs Tristana while they CC you. You're gonna be okay. Now it's almost no longer the case, right? Because the stronger they get, the faster they can kill you, right? So right. Um, now you have to play a little bit safer. Now you need like flash when you. Uh, I need to run away from a gank or you need to you need to stay away from like blitzcrank or whatever right and then you throw an e at ramus and you're good to go um so okay so whenever you okay so for objectives this is like a soft rule i tell all my students whenever you do an objective you even consider hitting this tower or trying to do dragon or baron you need to ask yourself where's the enemy team right can they stop you so i'm gonna ask you can they stop you right now they definitely could okay tell me how uh lux can disappear uh, can run down, try to like flash sun or something like that. I mean, there's there's no one mi there's no one on the map except for Teemo. Right. Um, so that's like the biggest indicator, right? So um, 
it's like warning warning signs should be going off right and the point about lux is very good right because even if you have vision of the river she's gonna get there before cassidy is right and you have a long way to go back to land um so specifically the way they can get you is they like take this blast cone over if this is alive right or if it's not alive uh blitz can run straight down and they aim leona right because she can't walk away and it's literally 3v2 so you can't you can't really win that under tower so whenever you see like an objective um it's usually like not right to try and get it unless you have an advantage somehow, right? You killed someone, you have vision on them, you think you can, you know, run away if they come for you, right? Um, and especially you don't have Zen on your side of the map, so it's like kind of hard to go for Dragon. So like uh, going for hits here is kind of greedy, I would say. Right? Okay. Because how do you st how do you stop them from how do you stop him from just walking up? Like Ramus comes out as well. The okay, he missed, but okay. So if he misses, you can do this. If he misses, you can do whatever the hell you want. But um, you always have to be afraid of like, uh, like them trying to find an unfair fight, right? Like, like you tried to hit them when Cassidy was coming to help your lane. You have to be the same thing is with Ramus, right? So the reason why you lost this, can you tell me why? Uh, I mean, it was like not uh, even close, right? Yeah, it wasn't even close. I mean, I, I was out of mana, so I couldn't really W. Um. I mean, at this point, I think Tristana is just stronger than me. Um, so the the biggest reason why you lose this is Tristana. How, how does Tristana damage work, right? How does she do damage? Tell me. Actually, I, I don't know. I know who she does AOE damage. So um, um, and that bomb over my head, but I really yeah, don't know yeah. much about Tristana. A lot of a lot of people will say, "Oh, she's not an auto attacks." You know, like late game, she's gonna hit you. This is not late game, right? So in the mid game, in the early game. All her damage, like 80% of her damage, is this bomb. So if this bomb goes off, you're going to die. You lose, right? Because then she ults you, and then you you, you can't do anything. Because she does damage faster than you, right? But right. At, if you can survive that initial uh, bomb and her ultimate and her Or have bomb, someone else win. absorb it. Right, then you win. So um, how, do you, how, do you, how do you win this, right? How do you fight a Tristana? Uh, with Leona? No, 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 no. Like 1v1. 1v1? Um... I mean, at this point, I probably could have recognized the bomb was on me and flashed away in Ard. Um, but that, that that just burns your flash, right? You don't get anything out of it. So you're trying to take this fight. So how do you make sure that you can't lose the fight, right? What did we talk about earlier about fair fights? Just, I, I, honestly, I don't, I don't know. Maybe just not even fight at all? or um, the, big thing, the big thing we went over was um, uh, if you miss something, you lose, right? Because remember right. the fight over here is like a 2v2 and you missed your E. So you were going to lose that. Right. So in this case, you can also make her miss, quote unquote, right? So say she throws the bomb on you, right? And then you walk away. So if she can't, if she can't charge up her bomb, her bomb, she has no damage. So she like missed an ability because she wasted it, right? So, okay. th so Javen automatically wins against Tristana, right? So because the reason why is she throws the bomb on you, you walk away. I right? just kite backwards. Then what happens? If she chases you, if she jumps you, you throw an E. She can't chase you by walking because you have your W. And then once she, she wastes this bomb, you just come back. And then you zone her for oh. 15 seconds because she has no bomb. Right? So, so does her ability work as her auto attacks charge up the bomb? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, oh, every, so her that. bomb goes off after like four or five stacks. And it's okay. like insane damage. But it does no damage if she can't stack it, right? So auto attack stack it, her jump stacks it, and her ult stacks it, right? So... If you just oh, so, walk away oh, after man. she gets the bomb like on an, you, I feel like an idiot now. Okay, because I mean okay. it's understandable, right? Um, but that's it's just like something you need to know when you're playing against this champion, right? If you if you don't know, right. that, you can't fight the champion, right? Otherwise, this will happen, right? You can consider this to be like a throw, right? Your team is winning, but then you guys lost spot somehow, so they're gonna take your tower, right? So you guys lost tower. Zin's gonna kill himself or something. I don't know. Oh, I'm surprised um, they didn't go for tower, but. Yeah, try it. Like, if you don't know whether or not you win, you should not fight. Right? Does that right. make sense? That makes sense. If you sense. do not know, you you have to know the outcome of the fight before you fight. Otherwise, you're taking random fights, and how can you how can you win? Right? If you take 50% fights, um, then how can you complain that you're stuck at your rank because you're taking 50% fights? You need to take, like, 90% fights. That's how you win games, right? Right. Every, if everything you do is 90%. Then you're just gonna. There's no. You're gonna. You're like a diamond player in, stuck in silver, right? Um, and you. It's when you get to the point where 
the best you can do is 50%. That's when you're like at the rank you're at, right? So right. Um, we need to be able to recognize what's like, what's like free and what's not free or how do we make it free, right? So how do we make that Tristana versus Draven fight free? Um, the instant she throws her bomb, you walk away and if she chases you, you throw her E. Boom, win. Can't lose. As long as you guys are like same amount of HP, right? And then plus um, not not seeing Ramis probably would have been an indicator that you know he's coming bot and they're yeah, trying to yeah, go yeah. all in. That too, that too. Can't take a fight if you don't know where the jungler is, right? Unless you think you can win when the jungler comes. Okay, hold on, let's back it up. What's going on? Okay, so you guys kill Ramis, so you guys want to try and convert off something, right? Um, makes sense because you have more people. So you're trying to get in here, you see Blitz, you see Tristana, Lux is somewhere over here, you guys ward. You guys might start this. Could be. I would say oh, it could be risky, but okay. Uh, that was kind of boosted, but unfortunate. <laughs> that was that was a free fight, right? How do you know that was free? Uh, they're isolated from their team, and that was a two v four easily. Right there, yeah, two v four. That's the big thing here. We we need to recognize when fights are unfair because that's literally ninety percent. Those are ninety percent fights. Okay, another person died, so it's still four v three. Ramis is coming back. It's still four v three. Um. You're doing dragon. Okay, you can't lose this. I don't think you can lose this dragon fight. Uh, so Leona is trying to make something happen. This is good, right? Because you can't lose this. So you go help. Uh, Tristana waste her jump. She's dead 100%. Goodbye. Um, and then you guys get two kills. Okay, once you, once you see like this stuff going on, what's going through your head? Uh, try to get bot tower. Try to get objectives after okay, this. Okay, good, 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 right? Because you don't, like, when you, when you see this, you need zero mechanics. A monkey can play the <laughs> rest of the fight out. You just right clicks and you, not, you, you don't, you could have AFK and they would have done this, right? So whenever you have downtime, you should always think about like your next move, right? Whenever you have downtime, always think about your next move. Okay, someone could go mid, someone could go bot, but uh, just make sure you know what you want to do, right? If you have wards running their jungle, ward it. Uh, if you want to take control of the jungle side, right? Um, that way you don't like waste any time when you like gain an advantage, right? So you take this tower, you take another wave and you back, right? Okay, good. Perfect, perfect. So far, so good. Just um, the the only problems you've had aren't um, like knowing what to do. It's more like kind of taking fights. You don't know if you win or not, right? Right. Um, you did take a lot of good fights, right? You know, three v twos and four v twos, and you won all those. But then uh, you lost a lot of fights where you kind of missed abilities or you got two v one, right? Right. Which I mean, that's very Draven dependent, and that's that's just. Um... That's, that, that's every fun. every champion. It doesn't matter what champion you play. You can play Team ADC, and it'll be the same kind of concept, right? Um, just when you play different champions, it's just the way they win and lose change, right? But the same concepts apply, right? The, taking unfair fights, you miss an ability, you lose, right? Say you're playing Ash instead of Draven, you miss your arrow, you lost, right? Because you missed your arrow. Right. Um, but uh, if you land your arrow, you're probably gonna win. Okay, this is awkward. Yeah, this uh, is this is where I get. Holy shit. I, I thought uh, I could get one more auto unlucky. off and just try to get the kill. You but could I, have won I, that, but uh, that was a nice try, I guess. I, I should have known with the ward right there and them not you know, not showing up on the map that they were going to try to... Uh... Yeah, it was really close, but... Um, always pretend whenever you see like black vision and stuff over walls or stuff, you, you just got to pretend Blitz is there, right? Um, this is just unfortunate. I wouldn't worry about this too much unless it happens like 10 times in a row. Also, <laughs> no, that, that's the first time it's ever happened. <laughs> what's, um, you have an interesting build, by the way. Oh, with the, uh, lethality? I mean, the Dusk... uh, Bloodthirster? Yeah, it's something, uh, the Draven mains have been, have been doing. Like, there's a challenger, Draven main, who's been going, uh, Duskblade's second item. And it, it's pretty good. It feels pretty good. Wait, does he get Bloodthirster first? Yeah, Bloodthirster first, the and then uh, Duskblade. Wait, can you send me a link to that? Now I want to see now. Okay. Because this is not a. I wouldn't consider it to be normal. Oh, someone. Oh, people died mid. Do you want me to send it to you now or, or after? Yeah, the... you, can send, you can send it to me now. I was gonna make a point okay. here. You said, did you send it on Skype? Or? Uh, I'm I'm trying to look for that guy's name. Uh, okay, okay. We don't we don't have to do it if it if it's uh takes some time. To yeah, it'll it. t it'll take a few minutes. Okay, okay. Let's just go back to replay that. I don't really care that okay. much. Okay. Um, but 
So let's take a look. So you're taking red. You want to go bot. How do you know your team is going to lose mid? Uh, right away, there's no vision. 2v1. We have two up top. And Leona is not in anywhere near Kassadin. Right, right, right. So you have a man disadvantage mid. So it's not a fair fight. You're autom it's an auto Consider it to be an automatic loss in the solo queue, right? Consider this is an automatic loss. So whenever you're going to a lane and there's no one else in your lane, um, you have to ping your team back, right? Because uh, if Tristan is here, then you guys lose, right? But say if you were there, you can do a 3v3, but it's not a 3v3. So this, is, uh, you play that scenario 10 times or 100 times, your team's going to lose 90 times, right? Um, wow, that was a really nice kill, though, on Lux. That was really nice, but uh, you guys going to lose mid tower. Right. Uh, okay, coming to defend. Wait, hold up. Interesting. Um, so what's the thought process behind trying to defend this? Um, just trying to get behind Leona, not get hooked, and then just try to clear off the minions. But So the I only mean... reason this is going to work is because, one, they're diving. Two, Poppy is coming and Timo's not following. Um, oh, wow, it's not even, uh, even going to work. Yeah, I definitely could have E'd right there. And so I, I was going to say the better the better play would be to just keep pushing bot, right? Uh, because a bunch of your team is like just dead mid. Um, and even though you killed Lux, I don't see how um, you guys can like save the tower. You couldn't save the tower. You want to put a bomb on it and it hits it. It's gone, right? Right. She was just, I don't know what she was doing, but she was hitting Leona. But whenever you see that you can't help like this, whenever like a disaster occurs, it's like a disaster kind of. Um, just keep pushing your lane so you can get something out of it, right? Okay. Um, you could have gotten another wave and then taken their Gromp, for example, or taken their blue maybe. Um, what's going on here? Oh, wow. Oh, can you get this? Oh, yeah, you're, you're a bread yeah. buff. Yeah, oh, nice. Buff. He's blinding you, so you just, oh, okay. Nice, nice. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you guys should be good here unless Blitz and Rambus show up. Okay, so this tower is going to take a long time to kill, which means um, the enemy team could Oh, Tristan is dead. Okay, never mind. You guys, you guys should be good to go. It's going to be Rammus and Blitz and maybe Lux, but it shouldn't matter too much, right? I, I, noti I noticed you using your E a lot early. I don't think it's too much of a problem yet. Okay, so you're so saying I should probably just hold here. on to it? Because you were saying early, holding on to it has more value, especially if I wait for the perfect... Right, right, right. So say um, it's a 3v2 and your team has the extra person. You throw your E so you can hit someone and that's good enough, right? It's good enough. But it's a 2v2 and you have like 20% HP and the only way you win is you cancel Tristana jump. Then you just have to hold on to it, right? So right. Um, also, uh, you also, CC is best to use to prevent them from doing what they want to do, right? Does that sound accurate? Yes. So th it falls under two categories. The one, they want to run away. So you use it to stop them from running away. Two, they're trying to chase you. So uh, you use it to try and stop them from chasing you, right? And then you can also do it when they chase you, and then they realize they don't want to chase you anymore, so you start running away, right? So that falls in the category one. You throw it at them, and then they're like, oh, shit, can't run away anymore. Um, so that's good. This guy's going to die, probably. Oh, maybe not. That's fine. Doesn't matter if he dies. He has no HP. You guys can push mid. Um, you can't get this tower, right? Tell me why. If you hit this uh, tower, it's a mistake. Why? They were just showing at mid lane. We have two top, and you know we don't know where the team. We actually, we actually all die right here. I think this is where we really throw the game. Yeah, yeah, right. So, like, uh, uh, do you think this is a fair fight? That's the first question. No, it's not. Okay, right, and you know this because you have two people top and they have four people mid, right? So it's, it's going to be three v four mid, right? So. Um, the first step is always figuring out numbers advantage, right? Do we have more people than them? If you do not have more people, you need something better. In a fair fight, you need to land stuff. So Ash lands an arrow onto like Syndra mid, and then you get like blitz hook into it. Right? That's how you win a fair fight, right? Or vision is another way. You put a pink ward down, they face check, boom, you kill them. You get the jump on them, right? Or land more abilities in a fight, but that's not easy to do because you don't know what your team is gonna do, right? Your team could have a blitz crank, you could miss, and then everyone loses. So, um, never take an unfair fight. 
and never take a fair fight unless you have to, right? So you want to bide your time. Let Leona, I, I guarantee you, if you guys stay alive here, Timo will probably do something stupid and Leona can get him, right? Right. So as long as you guys don't do what this is, then uh, you give your Leona a chance to make something happen, right? So as long as you guys can stay alive here. Also, um, if you want to talk about like kind of comps and stuff, you can't hit this against the Lux because she just like presses E on the wave, right? Right. And, uh, Cassidy wave clear. Really hit a tower, right? Cassidy wants to split. I don't know what the fuck Zin does. He just dies, I guess. Um, <laughs> yeah. But yeah, these the champion is probably not very good. Um, but yeah, so, can't dragon. hit this tower. Uh, the fact that you guys are out here is a mistake because they're gonna just try and kill you if you're not careful. Okay, you guys back off. That's good. Okay. But maybe, uh, maybe it was like super. It was like super dangerous over here, right? Um, what if they forced on on like Zin or something, right? You guys would have been very very sad. Or Blitz sacrifice himself to get a hook or something like that. Yeah, yeah, some stupid shit like that. Oh, he's chasing. He's gonna die, maybe. Oh, yo, oh my god. Okay, so you go for a sneaky dragon play. Works out. Uh, Leona is still top. So, every time... He, no, yeah, see? That's that's bad ping. Whoever pinged this is not is like not smart, right? Because um, it's still 4v3. So, uh, remember, whenever you hit a tower and objective, you need to like ask yourself what's the worst that could happen. If you're hitting an objective, they can force an unfair fight on you, right? Because you're hitting the tower, so they just walk up to you. Um, so that's you definitely should not be uh, trying to get anything when it's like you have no numbers advantage, right? Numbers right. advantage is very important solo queue. So automatic loss, hundred percent. Like you can play this a hundred times, your team is gonna lose, <laughs> out, right? Yeah. So this is nothing true. to do with mechanics. It's all about like putting yourself in a position where you can't lose, right? Um, this guy's just fucking dead. Like they don't even have their team with you, them, and I know you guys are gonna die, right? He's gonna just gonna flash hook or something stupid, right? Look at this. this is yeah, ta There's taunted hook, and yeah, I, I knew it was a bad idea. Not like if you were faker, you're still dead. Okay, so <laughs> the reason why faker wouldn't have done that though, wouldn't have hit the exactly. tower. Exactly, <laughs> faker would not have done that. That's the that's the big thing here, right? It's not about mechanics. The game is mostly not about mechanics. Like thirty percent is mechanics. Seventy percent is being in a spot where you can't lose. All right, secure yourself from defeat. And then your your team can find like a victory somewhere else on the map, or you can set up if it's like a five v five. You can set up for your team, like put a pink ward down. Everyone camps this bush. Boom, we get a blitz hook out of no vision, and then they lose, right? So, uh, so they face check so, Leona or something. I, I have a question. So should I just uh, spam spam pinged my team? Because okay, so what you're saying is realizing that we're trying to make a play up top, so just try to play safe elsewhere in the map. So uh, the the most important thing for solo queue is recognizing who has more people, right? Uh, because that'll right. tell and you if you want to lose a fight. Saying. So if you know your team has less people in an area, you spam ping. Spam okay. ping back, right? You just spam ping. I don't care if people are like flaming or whatever. You spam ping. You just mute everyone. Um, like you, you are farming bot. So you spam ping mid because Tristana is going to be mid. And then it's going to be a 4v3, right? So right. Um, in this case, Leona's top. You guys spam ping here. The only time you can hit this is if they show two more people top, right? Say Tristana Blitz, Teemo show top, and it's 3v2 on their side of the map. Since your team is going to lose out, you guys you guys can win out on this side of the map, right? Okay, so that makes sense. Then you spam ping okay. forward, and you say, let's get something, right? Um, but here, you guys got to run. So uh, and whenever something like this happens, and you know it's bad, just leave, right? Because you're, you're, you're going to lose no matter what. You just leave unless you can find something insane, right? The only way you can turn an unfair fight is if you find something insane, right? You have some insane, some kind of insane play or like someone gets picked for free, right? Um, or someone gets caught, right? But, but that's not that, going to happen. That's the, 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 you're just going back to the 50-50 thing or Yeah, or yeah, exactly. That's, that. like like that's the mechanics part of it, right? Say that was me playing Draven or whatever. You know, maybe I can turn this, but it's not going to be consistent. And even if it's silver, you know, these guys just point and click and I die, right? So <laughs> yeah. um, it's, it's, it's like not, that's like not something you should rely on to win your games, right? Um, so yeah. So what was the what was the outcome? Uh, we lost guys... two towers right there. Exactly, lost two towers, lost three kills. Um, not only that, here's the big thing. Not only that, but because you're dead, your team is gonna do something stupid. So Leona died. I don't know how Leona died, but look at this shit. Like she fucking she fucking died. Look at this. Okay, so you guys lost mid, so they do another stupid thing, and there's nothing you can do about it. So they die. So every time you make a mistake. Not only is there like a fallout of like, you know, the immediate fallout, you guys lose mid tower, um, or you guys lose another tower, you guys lose vision control, or you guys lose money. You're, you also give your team the chance to kill themselves, right? Because they're <laughs> going to make a mistake. Since you're not on the map, the, anything they do is wrong. Him being under tower is incorrect because everyone is dead, right? Um, so 
it, it, it makes it so that your team can't do anything, right? Any anytime, anytime you guys make like colossal mistakes like this, uh, makes it so it's like very hard for your team to find anything, right? So now, 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 here's here's the kicker. Now that Leona died, you still can't do anything until she's back, right? So right. it's like kind of like a it's a domino effect going on here. Um, yeah, we have no snow, vision. It's snowballing. Right, this 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 is snowballing out of control. Okay, so Blitz dies. This is a this is probably gonna be a Baron, right? So individual mistakes are still even though the league is like team oriented, individual mistakes are still very important, right? So, um, so okay, should I, should I call for for Baron right there? No, no, no. It's like Baron, if it's not guaranteed, don't go for it. Right, that's that could be a throw. In solo queue, you need to make sure you like kill everyone on the enemy team. Uh, before you go for it, right? So you guys kill Blitz. You think it's a 4v5. You start Baron. He flashes in, smites it. Oh, you guys are sad, right? Um, or they try and fight you while you guys are doing Baron. Can you stop them? Uh, probably not because they have Lux, right? So uh, if it's not like free, don't go for it, right? If this is not free. Is this free? Tell me right now. Is this free? It, it's not free. You spam ping back, right? Because this is not free, right? You have two people bought. Um, sure, maybe they can kill Shistana or whatever. But uh, if they take this 3v3 onto you guys... Right? Say Lux is like right over this wall. Okay? Say Lux is right over this wall. Right? She waits in the cannon minion and gets a 20%. Throws her E, clears the whole wave, binds Zen. You guys lose Baron. Right? So, um, not only that, but uh, you shouldn't be able to get a tower. I don't know what's going on here. They're like AFK or something. But this is not free. Right? So, you should, you guys should not be going for this. If you guys die here, that's why. Oh boy. I have no idea how you guys didn't get punished, but... Oh, you didn't get punished, right? Poppy died, right? Okay, yeah, so they're gonna they're gonna time. try and do Baron or something, right? So, um, but yeah, the, if it's not free, if it's not free, you should not do it, right? Um, that's like the that's like the golden rule, like ninety percent players, any kind of fight, five v four, that's gonna you're gonna win ninety percent, take it. If it's three v four, it's like like unfair for them. You don't take those ever. And then if it's fair, if it's like a fair fight, three v three, you need something crazy ha to happen, um, in order to win. So. You wait until that thing happens, right? Um, okay, you guys get this free pick, right? Look at this. What is this Ramis doing? Tell me. Uh, what <laughs> is the mistake that Ramis is doing right now? Check this out. What is he doing? I don't know. He hit the tower. That's a, that's a great question. A fucking 1v3 <laughs> hit the tower. What is he doing, right? So this is, this, is, this is throwing the game. This is called throwing the game. Whenever you do something like this, it's called throwing the game. If I do something in my games, I'm throwing the game, right? Because... Um, you just make it impossible for your team to do anything, right? Because um, you see everyone mid, so you know that this Ramis is 100% dead. Um, you don't give a shit who this Ramis is or what rank he is. He put himself in a position where he can't win, right? So, dead. Um, you guys can probably bear now. If Leona is... Uh... Oh, you guys can bear now. They're all bought. So, you should ping, you should ping Baron here. Um, but it's fine. Right? Like, how do you know, how do you, know you can Baron? Here. At, at this point right here? Yeah. Um I mean Ramus is dead. Right. And then there. Leona is probably gonna draw pressure away from to the bot side of the map. Well, Leona really shouldn't be bot, but Ramus is dead and that's like super important for the team because they have no smite. So if you set up in Baron, you just sit in the Baron area and you clear all the wards, they have to face check and then you win, right? Uh assuming Leona was with you guys, you had a one, right? The later in the game it goes, the yeah, more, they... the less the Baron damage matters. Okay. The okay. later the game it goes um, the less the Baron is going to matter. Like I said, 20 minutes, you got to pick. Um, I said, yeah, Baron is risky. Now, Baron is less risky, right? Because people are worth more, if that makes sense, right? And the Baron is, like, worth less or whatever. That makes sense. <clears throat> like, you get to 60 minutes in a game, and your team gets Baron, but the AD carry dies. That team is going to lose still, even with the Baron buff, right? Because AD carry is right. super important at a point in the game. Um, but say it's 20 minutes in, you lose the AD carry for Baron, everyone says worth because... It's like, holy shit, you got Baron at 20 minutes, and AD carry is still not that strong, so. Right. And he's going to respond faster, so. Um, that's how you know whether or not you can, like, do these objectives. But anyways, um, some shit's going on here. If you get hooked, you guys lose. Okay, nice. Uh, you guys going to lose this? Why? Um, oh, two things, I mean, two took a bunch of free poke. <laughs> Leona is still in base. Yes. Uh, could be a 4v5. Exactly. Those are the two big things. As long as you can recognize this immediately, right, you'll know what to do. Or what not to do, right? You said you didn't know what to do when you're losing, or um, those kind of things. Like, where should I be and all that? This is how you know. Like, do I take these fights or not? And um, in order to, if if you if they're like not doing anything, then what you do is push your lanes out, right? Um, so uh, this is kind of questionable. So everyone should run. 
<clears throat> okay, this is kind of awkward. Wait, so you like sit on this uh, shrimp? I'll, I was yeah. just trying to bait. I see. What if they like flash over though? Is the thing right? So, yeah, that would have been dumb. <laughs> exactly. So you have to know that they don't have flash or something. Like, is it Blitz sitting here? I don't know. Can Ramis flash over an EU? I don't know, right? So um, unless you have like a QSS or you know you can get away, uh, I would say uh, don't make these plays unless you know for sure. This is another way. <laughs> this is another way to win a fair a fair fight, right? Um, say you're baiting and the enemy Malphite like ults over and you flash it, you win, right? Because they missed, right? How do you right. win a fair fight? Land more abilities than the enemy team. So if they miss an important ability because you use your flash, then you win. You win the you win the fight for your team. So I don't know what's going on, but it looks like this bait works. Unless Lux hits everyone. Okay, yeah. So team that lands more shit wins. Uh, Blitz is dying for free though, so I think this is good, right? You Should know, I go off him because I didn't know where their team was, so I I thought maybe I, I just didn't want to be. That's honestly picked. that's fine. That's fine. Um, the way you the way fine. you prevent this is when you hit this guy. You don't need okay. You're playing Draven, so it's kind of hard. I would, I would, I wouldn't recommend Draven, but since you're hitting Draven, uh, I mean, since you're playing Draven, it's kind of hard to focus on hitting him and looking at the map at the same time. But if you're playing it Ash, is. for example, and you're right clicking okay. this guy, then while you're right clicking this guy, you know you can't die, and he's gonna die eventually. So you look at the map. You just like watch this other fight and see what you need to do next. You go back to this. You hit this guy. You go over there. You go back to this guy. Kill him off. You go back over here. But since you're playing Draven, you have to catch axes and shit. So it's like super hard. Um, well, I, I also play MF. Um, okay, if, okay. If, if the comp feels right, you know, I, if, especially if you have like a Malphite or, uh, or you know, something along the lines of a Wombo combo, I'll, I'll definitely try to play MF because she's she's pretty easy. I mean, it's overall, but I, I would, yeah, MF, Ash, and Draven are the threes that I see. I see. I try yeah, to play. Yeah, Draven is just fucking hard as shit, right? Because um, he's he's just super mechanically difficult, right? I, I, I think the reward to the skill to reward ratio is not high enough um, to pick this champion, but uh, you die here because Tristana just jumps over the wall and you just whoop. Uh, yeah. <laughs> also, what's the correct call here? Um, probably just stay with my team. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's overall, you as an ADC. <laughs> but uh, yeah, you got you gotta let him go first. If you have no vision, uh, and especially no HP, you just can't do this, right? Um, let your team go first, and the reason, uh, the reason, the way you get people to do stuff is just like spam ping, right? So if you know this is right, spam ping. Um, but this may or may not be right because if you go here, what if they go Baron, right? Something like that. Um, but I think this should be okay as long as your team's here, but they're not. So uh, kind of a kind of a throw, right? Make them make sure like whenever whenever you like go into no vision, you have to be prepared for everything, right? Um, right. You have to be prepared for anything that could happen, right? So if you're not prepared, you're gonna lose. So unless you're supremely confident that you can stop whoever is out of vision, okay, who's out of vision? Ramis and Tristana. Can you stop that? No. Yeah, I have, yeah, I, I, it's not possible, right? So um, you have to let your team go first, basically, right? That's why the tanks go first, so they can get you. Okay, you guys are gonna lose Baron for sure. Yeah, Baron's gone. Uh, clearing bot. Okay, this is this is a fine decision to clear a bot. Okay, farming, farming. This is good. Okay, you guys are doing dragon. This is probably bad, but maybe you can get away with it. Oh shit. Oh nope. Cat. This is a free kill for Cassidy. Let's go. Oh. Oh, what's going on? Oh, this is no longer. This is no longer happy. Uh. Okay. So. Thornmill just screwed me over. <laughs> yeah. I was, I was hitting cool. Ramus, and I realized I was just losing health. Yep. Yeah, so uh, you guys just lose this because uh. Your Cassidy can't find anything to do, so it's pretty much a 4v5, right? More like a 4.5 versus 4, because he, he was zoning Tristana or whatever, so they're both kind of like out of the fight, but Tristana comes back beforehand. Also, um, your Zin kills himself, so it really is a 4v5. Uh, everyone should run away, right? Um, wow, you can't even kill this guy. So you, you kind of needed a Last Whisper, right, I guess? Yes. One, two, two and a half armor items. Yeah, you kind of need a last whisper. Uh, otherwise, you can't kill this guy. So yeah, but this fight didn't matter, right? What mattered was all the stuff that happened beforehand, right? Why, why? How did they get so far ahead? It was like those, like kind of three kind of plays where you guys took really bad fights, or you know, that's actually kind of unfortunate that you got caught once. But um, be very careful going into no vision, right? That's how that's how uh, people get caught, right? Like how do you how do you win a fair fight 
vision, right? One of, that's one of the ways to win a fair fight. So if you have if you have no vision, you better be prepared to take an unfair fight, right? Does that make sense? That makes sense. Right, because it's like almost impossible to like dodge a blitz hook out of fog of war, right? Um, so vision is like super important. So I think at this point it's just damage control, but there's like not much you can do. Uh, you want to try the next replay? Yeah. yeah. <clears throat> All right. I think we're at 15 minutes still. So okay. we're a little bit more than 15 minutes. But are there any other questions so far? No, I mean that that, that all makes sense. It's um definitely just the mind like uh, trying to pick fair fights. Something I know that we can at least come out even or on top of. Right, right, right. Like solo queue is all about um, putting yourself in a position where you can't lose. Right. If you can do that, then you can't lose the game. Right. And if you can't lose the game, and the enemy team is gonna make mistakes, you're gonna eventually win. Right. So. All it takes is like for them to make one mistake and then you guys you guys just whoop their ass and then it's over, right? Um, like in that last game, uh, all it takes is one mistake from you and they get Baron and they close the game, so. Okay, that was a really good trade against Callista. Very nice. You just push this in. Okay, who's the junglers? Maokai versus Warwick. Warwick is top, so you know this is a 2v2. Um, right. Honestly, I don't really have any uh, complaints about your lane. It's pretty good, so we don't have to worry about it too much. Okay, you're just gonna... You're just gonna Hit this guy. Okay, nice. Pushing them in. Very good. Hitting him. Huge HP advantage. Very nice. Um, you're almost getting to the point where you can dive them. Uh, who is it? Warwick? If Warwick comes out, you guys still win. Uh, you do want to be make sure you have enough mana for one rotation. Okay. For a gank, right? Um, that's kind of important. Because, uh, you know, if you have no mana, you die to a gank, right? Um, but if you do have mana, there's no way they can gank you, right? Especially since you're full HP or whatever. Um, so that's like one cause for concern. I don't know how you're using so much mana, probably by using W, right? I, I do use W and I definitely yeah, should yeah. stop doing it or at least no, try it's, to. It's good. It's good. Like you, it, that was just getting borderline. Um, you just have to make sure that you have enough mana to fight at all times, right? Okay. Unless you're going to back immediately. Okay. So they backed on this wave. Interesting. So you push it out. So you're going to back here, right? How do you right. know you're going to back after this wave? Um, I mean, they just went and bought. So, I mean, I'm going to be an item disadvantage exactly right if you don't buy now you're not going to buy for a very long time right yes um so you got to back now okay good 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 your back timings are good i like it it's very important for bot lane um so far so good yeah no complaints about your laning you like won every single lane for the, from the two replays they saw it was like not even close you're just like walking all over these guys so that's good okay war, war oh oh so okay here's the thing um, here's like a like a mechanical thing you probably don't have to worry about for a while but if you're ever using skill shots or like really any kind of abilities um, it's best to do it out of fog of war right okay yeah th Does that, that make makes sense because okay so see I'm, it's I'm getting away with it because I'm in silver and no one really <laughs> I mean even it. then right um, if even if you're in silver and you throw like an ash arrow just like they can see it they can flash it right okay they're not they're not like they, they can flash it, right? They, uh, a lot of players will be able to flash it. But if you throw it from the bush, a lot of challenger players won't be able to flash it, right? Um, so it's, it's a very big difference, um, throwing stuff from vision and out of vision. If you can throw it out of vision, always take that. Because so, he's going he's gonna to spam ping mid. He's going to spam ping mid right now, and you're not going to be able to hit it, right? Um, supposedly, right? So why, how did he turn around so fast? His team is probably telling him, holy shit, that thing is coming. Um, so if you ever have the opportunity to throw it, throw it from outside of vision, right? Okay. And um, remember, the longer you wait, the better chance you have, because uh, you don't know where they're gonna go until like 20 seconds happens. So did you know he was gonna go for rates? I didn't know until he started pathing there, right? So then you can throw it right at right, right before he gets to the rates, right? Um, that pretty much guarantees you hit it, right? Same with Lux. Right. Is she gonna okay. back? If she's gonna push, um, you can all you can even wait until she pushes and then goes here and then starts channeling back boom you got her or if you're like super insane you could count eight seconds and throw it to the fountain right stuff like that but um anytime you throw kind of globals uh the longer you wait the better chance you have right unless your team like needs it immediately and you're kind of forced to do it but um okay so you see oh so works here nice nice drawing jungle pressure good 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 um can you win if the warrior comes out no so you stay back right um, they have a lot of CC, Hook, Ultimate, Callista Plus ult, so. their, their Lux is missing, or was missing, so I wasn't sure if they were going to try to do like a yeah, four-man yeah. bot, it, like it was going to run yeah, across. There's just, just no way, right? So good. You play safe. This is very good. This is very good, right? 
Um, because you're playing safe, Malkai can maybe find something top, right? So, oh, this is this is dangerous. Why why is this dangerous? The hook. Um, Warwick was showing bot just a few. Yeah, like a if minute they're ago. all sitting in this bush. This stone is dead no matter what she does, right? Okay, so they're all sitting in this bush. They walk out. Nautilus flash alt Sona. Sona ults everyone. They flash it and they kill. They kill. They kill Sona. You can't do anything about it. And they Warwick ults you, and you're sad, right? So, um, this guy is gonna die. He should die, but uh, it looks like they backed. So, if 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 he does something stupid like that, don't follow him, right? So, looks like you guys are okay. Wow, this is still dangerous. But Warwick show top now, so that's good. You guys are just back to normal here, looking for stuff to buy. That's fine, that's fine. I don't have any complaints. That was, uh, no, that's a pretty good. Okay, this guy's dead. How do we know? Uh, oh, wait, what? You don't have your E. Oh, that's yeah, if, if I would have saved it. Okay, that's definitely uh, something I, was, I need to work on. I was gonna say, he, you're gonna get Kalista ult off that. Maybe not dead, but you're gonna get Kelly ult off that. Yeah, but yeah, um, really save your save your trump cards right because okay. um they should either be used last right and then they're like oh shit i got hit by that you lose or uh like they sh or or like like maybe near the beginning when they have no way of getting away right so say for ash what's her trump card the arrow right so um if you arrow first and it doesn't kill them uh you're very sad but if you hold on to it and then in the middle of the th in the middle of the, th of the fight um, they realize they don't realize that they're gonna die if they get hit by it, and you hit them, then they die, right? So, um, arrow is very important for Ash. Don't miss that, Draven. It's gonna be uh, a lot of things: your axes, your E, and your ultimate. Your ultimate less so, I'd say, but your E is like really CC is really like the trump card here, right? Like what Sona's? Uh, her ultimate. Right, exactly. So you miss, you know, you miss that. Holy shit, everyone's gotta run. Um, if you land it and it's on a good target, it's probably a free kill. Uh. So you guys push this out. This is good, right? So this is kind of um, we can touch upon this, it's just like kind of info dump, info dump, right? But um, the reason why pushing lanes is great is because you're first to rotate, right? You're the first right. that can help. So if there's a fight breaking out, first to help, unfair fight, you win. Um, or if there's no fight breaking out and everyone's pushing their lanes, you go to dragon. The enemy has no vision, so you get the dragon for free, right? So vision unfair fights it's all it all comes back to the same thing so pushing is also um like involved with this kind of thing right so the reason why you know you can do this is because you pushed right right so now you can like re as long as you can reason it out it's like good so um they have no vision you, this is free that's how you know it's a free dragon um if they came to fight you guys could turn at any point in time right so very good okay so war could be coming and your mid lane died so this is dangerous right Okay, this, this is crazy. actually where we die. This is this, I, yeah, see, this is where yeah, we lose lane. See, that's how I, that's how you that's how I can tell before anything happens, right? You you, right. you should like if you can the faster you can recognize this stuff, the um the the the, the faster you can say I want this or I don't want this, right? So uh, I already know you don't want this. Zero percent chance, right? Um, you even got the crit, <laughs> and it's just wait, did you even get the crit? You got something here. That was a crit, and it, it didn't work, right? So um, there's just zero percent chance, right? Um, I was surprised it was a teleport and not a gank, but uh, it's the same thing, right? So the reason why you know this doesn't work is twofold. Mid is dead. The enemy jungler could be here. Maokai is not in range. Um, and even though she landed his ultimate, you are not in range. You have to like flash for this or something. It's like not, I, it's I not do. easy, right? Um, so it's just, it's just, it's pretty much not, not, not good. Um, but yeah, so. Even though it was super close, it was a 2v3, you played it very well, didn't matter, right? You had to play, this is this is the 30% mechanics. If your mechanics were any better, you would have gotten the kill and stay worth, but those are not fights you want to be taking, right? Um, that, that's not something you want to rely on, I should say. Um, right, especially with, I should have recognized with the TP that I should, with the mid lane dying, that it was a bad idea. Yeah, not, not just the TP, the, the jungler is like the, the most obvious, okay. in my opinion. Because um, the jungler could be, so you haven't seen him in a very long time, right? Oh, actually, he showed top. So count the time. So eight seconds goes by, and he's walking bot right now. He's walking bot right now. Okay, he could be at the tower, right? So that's how you know. And you have no idea if he used his ultimate, because no one's saying anything in chat. So um, yeah, that's how you know. Uh, but yeah, TP, TP is also another, another thing. Um, and I, I think we all die again, because Warwick actually does eventually show bot here. So this is kind of boosted, right? How do we know this is boosted? Because it could easily be a 2v4 that's going right. on and right. chasing. And now, 
fucking dead. They can't even. They don't have the damage to kill him. So it's like it's just no. It's just no way. This dude could probably walk away, right? It just doesn't work. So they're just all fucking dead. Um. Right. So. And you already I'm, know. I'm, oh, I'm thinking you can I can this. go. You can actually pop off here if you get this close though. Oh, that's awkward. Oh uh, yeah, I get slowed and and it was just. There's nothing, there's just nothing you can do. Yeah. Um. So. Let's see. What path did you take? You took the fastest route. <laughs> you just see. That's the thing. In these kind of like man disadvantage, man advantage fights, um, it doesn't matter. Like half the time, it doesn't matter how well you play. You have to be a god in order to turn these kind of fights, right? So, yeah. Um, didn't matter, right? You even hit the E. It didn't even matter. So, these fights are. That's that's why. Like recognizing these situations is like extremely important because it's almost a guaranteed win, right? Um, if you can create these advantages, this this man advantage, right? Taking only unfair fights. Um, so uh, pushing this out. Okay, so how do you know this is dangerous? Uh, no vision. Well, Lux is mid, but missing top and jungler Nautilus. I mean, that's just bad news. Pretend, pretend Warwick and top laner shows top. Okay, how do you know this is bad still? It's still two v one. Yeah, exactly. Right, it's still two v one. You can't. You just wear your tower, right? If your support ever does something like back at a weird time, you have to back with them, or you do something else, right? Um, so same thing with the AD carry. If the AD carry backs and the support stays in lane, you know that support's probably gonna die, right? Right. Um, so super dangerous. Uh, pretty much don't leave your tower. Even if you were at your tower, could have still been dangerous because you know Warwick dive or something, something stupid like that. But okay. Um. So yeah. Uh, so this is a clear example of why pushing is important. They go mid because mid your team thinks it's a fair fight or unfair fight or whatever, but the, the bot lane rotated first. So all of a sudden 4v2. So mid loses immediately because you guys have no vision, right? It all ties in together. So someone's going to die here, uh, maybe. Oh, okay. Okay, so someone died. What? Okay, so uh, someone did die, but it took a while to, for it to happen. Um, it's kind of awkward. So you gotta wait until your mid lane spawns, unless you think you can take these kind of fights. Um, but ba ba, your Malkai coming, right? Your Malkai coming, so your son is baiting. This is good, right? Unless Warwick is here right now, you're gonna win this, right? So you aim Callista. Okay, 100% win, right? You landed more stuff. Your team is coming on the way. You can't lose this, right? Theoretically speaking, there's no way to lose this, unless uh. It's still considered a win if you get a kill, right? I don't know what's going on, but it was a 3v3. I think you can win this. Oh, no. It's tragedy. Okay, hold on. Let's back it up. Okay. Yeah. It's, what's going on here? I, I think at this point, I was just getting extremely frustrated. Oh, you yeah, dropped an axe. Yeah, I dropped an axe, I think. Okay, yeah. This is, this, is why, I, this is why no one says play Draven, right? No right. coach will ever say play Draven because uh, it's just like, it doesn't, it's not, like, I know you're not going to drop axes. But that one time you do drop an axe, you're gonna yeah. lose a random fight, right? It, so, it lost the kill right there. Literally the only reason, right? Um, you lost like you lost a lot of damage, um, just by like Maokai could have touched the Callista and then she would have died, right? Something like that. Um, so yeah, it's kind of kind of awkward. Um, and then yeah, and then I got just, stunned this, by the Nautilus right there, this, and I dropped another axe. This is a part. This is part of the thirty percent, right? Um, the mechanics can win or lose fights. This is this is part of it, right? Um, so champions like Draven, Callista, Vayne, these are all champions that, um, make the mechanics part more important, right? So unless you're supremely, uh, like confident in your mechanics, uh, I would play champions that take zero skill, like Ash, for example, right? They take okay. no, me no mechanics, but that's just, that's just my decision. Honestly, if you enjoy playing Draven, this is why you play League, like play Draven, right? By all means, um... But I, I just wouldn't recommend it. Uh, so what's going on here? Hold on, let's go. Up. So uh, something happens mid. So here you should be thinking you want to push out bot, right? Unless you can help this immediately. These, these guys are already dead. So um, looks like you want to defend tower. Honestly, not a bad choice. That's fine. Go back bot though. Oh, wait, something's going on. Okay, you're going to help. Um, but the reason why this is probably not good is because Annie's dead. So someone's uh, going to get fucked. Yep, someone died. Okay, so... The reason why we know these fights are not good is because someone in your team is already dead, right? So, spam ping back, right? Right, and my team's trying to force stuff, which right, You saw be. that someone is low HP. Hold up. 
Someone was low HP. Okay, Kles was low HP, but say she didn't back, um, it's still like a 45, right? So, yeah. It's also, no vision. That's another way to know. Okay, not only is it like not good fight, it's also no vision. So, um, it's kind of awkward. So, yeah. All that stuff that happened bot, you can you can honestly say that, oh, yeah, my team's playing bad, yada, yada. But if you want to win, if you want to like climb out of your rank, you have to be able to not make any mistakes yourself, right? Does that make any okay. sense? No, that's, that makes sense. Because the reason why this is happening, part of the reason why this is happening is because you guys lost, you won lane, like really hard, like early on. But then you lost your advantage because, um, I don't know what happened, but I, I forget what happened. But you guys, there was like a bunch of bad fights down bot. And then they, they got a push on you and they went mid and they killed mid and now mid's losing, right? So, um, and then that 3v3 happened bot and that was super unfortunate. So then jungle lost. So yeah. Um, pretty much every every lane, like the team is losing at this point, right? So right, and and I guess like one of the reasons why I asked for coaching is because these situations happen, you know, not all the time. You know, it's it's all uh, statistics, but it's just like when they happen, like what can I do to help increase my chances of winning? You know, right, right, um, right, 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 right. It's all about taking as much of the load off your team as possible, right? And then when you make the mistake, it's about minimizing the damage so that someone uh, someone else on your team can carry, right? So, um, and the best way uh, you can do that, especially at these ranks, is only taking these unfair fights, right? So, pretty much every time you've lost is uh, you know taking a bad fight, right? Um, trying to take like these fights, but like not recognizing that they have more people than you, or like that Lux TP earlier. I, I was thinking jungle, but you try to fight Callista, Lux TP, boom, you automatic loss. Nothing you can do, right? Um, so, like, always, always, it's league is about putting yourself in a position where you can't lose, right? That's like the first thing. Right. Um, like, Callista versus Callista versus Draven, this is like super skill matchup. Okay, yeah, another TP, right? So, there's no way you can win. Um, if you, like, like, if you, the, the higher up you go, the more stuff you'll see, like, Maokai's waiting in the wings for this TP to happen and Trunks is preparing his TP, right? So then it's a 5v5 instead of, like, uh, what they thought was a 3v2. Um, but that's you know that stuff's not gonna happen, right? So you look at your team. What are they doing? They're playing top, so you can't do anything bot, right? Okay. Literally, if I were you, I'd be sitting at my tower like right now, right? Um. So yeah, you, you literally cannot defend the tower. Oh yeah, and, th and then Garen TP's bot. It was Lux and then Garen. Jesus, yeah. So definitely can't win. So if he finds his hook, it's kind of kind of awkward. So people are coming to defend. Um, a tower dive. Is another way to win a fair fight or even unfair fight. Four v five, they tower dive, they can lose because tower is pretty important, right? So this cluster is gonna get eaten. Oh no! If you can auto tech him, oh no, it's awkward. Uh, so you guys have no more juice, you can't win, right? So everyone's gonna die. Oh, he misses. Oh, oh, you're alive. Okay. Merc okay. <laughs> but yeah, uh, it's it's like a tragedy, right? So. At this point, like when you get at this point, you have to rely on your thirty percent mechanics to win games. I mean, to win okay. these fights, right? Because this is a this is an even fight, three v three. Um, because with the, MF, I could just press R and then just chunk half their health. Exactly, it takes zero mechanics. If you're playing Ash, you auto attack these guys until you can hit. Arrow or just on Callista. or just flank around, yeah, and arrow yeah, Callista. Yeah, exactly. Or you can even hold on to it, and then Lux comes out, boom, hit arrow in the face. And you know what that Lux is gonna say? Lol, why did she have arrow still? Right. So, <laughs> Um, yeah, yeah. I, I, it's just like super hard, right? Because like, if you were a god, right? Say you're like a challenger, challenger Draven, you could have killed this guy, right? You could have picked up the axe, walked at him, auto attack, pick up another axe, kill him in two hits, right? So, right. Um, I'm not gonna tell you that's what you should have done, okay? Because it's hard to teach mechanics, right? Um, but right, if you want to see like instant improvement. You pick you pick a different champion. <laughs> no no offense, but if you want to okay. like mechanics is like very hard to improve, right? So say um, someone says, okay, now today uh, today for the rest of the week, I want you to work on sidestepping every skill shot, right? That's mechanics. Um, it's not easy to do, and the first few times you try it, you're gonna get hit, um, and it's gonna take forever for you to learn that. But if I say, okay, for the next week, I want you to watch the enemy jungler and predict where he is at all times. That's a lot easier to do. You can do that immediately, right? Right. Um, you look at the map and you say jungle could be here. Boom. Look at the map, you can say jungle could be here. Okay. And then see jungle top, you say, okay, jungle's there. Right? So um although like 
cerebral strategy stuff is a lot easier to win with than the mechanic stuff. But no one ever kind of teaches the kind of strategy stuff, right? This this the only the only fights you have lost are the ones where they have more people or the ones where it's even and then you guys mess up mechanically, right? So that's it. Right? Right, yeah. That is I, it. I don't think I don't think um you guys lost any 3v2s or anything like that, right? So so this is a tower dive, but it doesn't matter because this is it's just it's just a tragedy at this point, right? Um, yeah, I, I you know I and at this point I think I was just getting really frustrated with uh, just how the game was going in general, and it's just super unfortunate. Well, Garen kills himself, so I guess that's a that's a plus. <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's just some fiesta shit going on now, so it's like kind of, um, kind of like uh, game's over, right? Pretty much, and he's one and eight. No, you guys, you can't, you just can't do anything. Uh, they can like if so. If they like walk into Baron, clear vision. You guys can't face check without dying, right? So it's like, uh oh, what do you do now? Okay, what's going on here? Okay, so <laughs> how do you know you win this? Tell me right now, how do you know you win this? Uh, Nautilus is by himself. Garen is is showing not anywhere near anyone. Garen is top. That's the first thing that should go through your head. This is a four v five, so you should you should try and make this happen, right? So, oh, Lux showed mid, so she's gonna be she's gonna be late. Oh, well, look at that, you guys won, <laughs> right? So, um, it's, it's it's always gonna be the same thing. It's always gonna be the same thing. The team with more people is gonna win nine times out of ten, right? It's always gonna be the same thing. So don't chase for that. Uh, that's how you lose a fight. But right, you guys killed the Callista because it was forty five. Okay, so oh, actually, did you have a Sona? Oh, didn't even have Sona. Oh yes. Well, so I guess it was a four v. It was like a four v two, four v three. But still, numbers advantage, super important, right? Um, okay, you guys are going to kill the Slugs. Oh, that's awkward. Oh, he's getting away. Oh, what? YouTube, hello? Uh, okay. Let's back it up a little, I guess. We can watch this happen. <laughs> so yeah, chasing, chasing, right? You can't finish him off. Uh-oh, everyone's dead. Um, so yeah. That's that's honestly the story of these games is being able to recognize when you want to fight and <laughs> when you don't want to fight, right? Does that yeah. make sense? So yeah. for you, I would super focus like on in, in like your next ten games, next twenty games, whatever. You want you want to focus on only taking like unfair fights for you guys, right? You always want to have numbers advantage if you fight, right? The way you know that is if they're within one lane's distance, they can help, right? Like, uh, and if they're pushing, right? If your mid laner is pushing and he can come first, that's like another reason. Jungler is nearby. That's another one. The enemy jungler shows top. You know that he can't be there, right? Um, right. Stuff like that. If you can recognize this, I, I promise you, it'll be super easy once you start recognizing these patterns because the enemy AD carry is going to show bot and you say, okay, we can fight. And the enemy team will also try and fight. So then you guys just destroy them because they are missing an AD carry, right? right. So if you can recognize these situations, um, then you'll like win like pretty much every game, right? Um, and for objectives, only try and take them when everyone on the other team is like dead, right? Um, or maybe if they're like carry is dead or something, right? Like the Baron and the Dragons and the Towers, don't hit them unless you know for sure, right? Uh, like we saw that Ramus that was hitting your top lane tower by himself, don't do that, right? Don't do that right. and you will, you will win, right? Because he gave up Baron basically by doing that stupid shit. Um, so... Remember, it's all about taking these like kinds of fights. Don't worry about the mechanic stuff. That shit is like makes that you can have the best mechanics in the world, but if you take like two v fives, you're gonna lose every time, right? If you take two v threes, you're gonna lose. Doesn't matter what you do. That's just the nature of League of Legends right now. Um, yeah, <laughs> it's very team oriented, right? So when you see a team with more people, they're gonna win nine times out of ten. Doesn't matter what the comps are for the most part, unless it's like. The higher level it goes, maybe it changes. It, it doesn't change. I promise you. Like in my games, I still do this, right? This is what this is exactly what I do in my games. I say, "Is this a fair fight? Yes or no?" And then you say, "You run away or you chase them," right? So based based on that, so um, that's what I would recommend you focus on. And then if you really want to like make sure you don't lose games based off mechanics, maybe give Draven a break or something. Okay, um, that's just my two cents. You know, I I, th I think it's time because when I when I really enjoy playing him like i do really well but then when i when i kind of get into this like losing streak with him like i think i just perform even more poorly where because i i don't enjoy <laughs> playing him as much but i, I have a, i have a decent win rate with him like over i think almost like over 200 games i have like a 55 54 
That's um, pretty good. But yeah, um, but imagine if it was like something else, right? Right. It's just that I don't know. I think Draven is just super hard to play, right? And I am supposed to be it, like it, he is challenger or play. whatever, right? So I don't know. Um, this champion is just like what the hell? Unless you want to devote your life playing to this, playing this crap. <laughs> be my guest. Um, but for like most people, like they don't they don't have time to just play like ten games a day and stuff, right? So, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. that's what I would suggest. Okay, okay. I'll definitely um, um you know I, I think I'm gonna take up on that offer, um, and play the Annie a bot lane and, <laughs> and uh, sounds sounds good Emma. sounds good. But yeah, um, we just remember anytime a fight breaks out, try and try and like think as fast as you can. Is this good or bad? You know, try and like right. recognize it, right? Um, and I promise you that'll that'll help you that'll help you get better, right? Um, if you can recognize if a fight's an auto win or an auto loss, and you act on it, um, you'll learn whether or not it was bad or good based on the results, right? Um, usually, usually based on the results, you can say, "Oh yeah, it was a free win," and then it was a free win. Um, so that's a free loss over there because this guy is alone, right? So um, the faster you can recognize, the the better you'll be able to base your decisions off of, right? So, yeah, I, re I recognize this game was a loss at at this point. It was just. It was yeah, just pretty over. Much, it's pretty much it's pretty much unfortunate. Um so yeah, yeah. Um but yeah, let me know how that goes. Um if you have any questions, like you have like a twenty second clip and you're like, Okay, is this a win or a loss? Or you know, what should I have done here? I'm always down to answer on Discord. Okay, cool. Um but yeah, I think that'll be all for today. Uh cool. Yeah, sounds good. Awesome. Thank you. I appreciate no problem, it. Dude. Yo, let me know how these go. I'm always interested um, to see how my students do. So, I, I well, my, my goal is uh, hitting gold this season. So I, I think I think I have a good shot. I still have some time. So, I agree. I agree. Your landing phase was really strong. I'm not gonna lie. You just fucking nothing they could do for the first like five minutes. Like, and this is this is how games go. So I think that just adds to the frustration of like I'll win lane phase, but then you know TP's jungle, you know four or five man bot, and then. I, I make bad decisions later on after that, and then I'll just lose the game because of. Agreed. Um, agreed. Agreed. A hundred percent. I agree. I okay. Agree. You, you had I, an accurate. Um, you had an accurate read on your play, so. Uh, I think this will help the the mid game late game stuff for sure, right? So. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Let me know how things go. Okay, I will do. Thank you. I appreciate this. No problem. Have oh yeah. So can I uh, put this on YouTube? Yeah. No, that's great. That's fine. All right. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Good luck, man. All right. Thank you. Thank you.